No. Okay, so we're gonna just talk about object permanence, jungle tracking, and how to four wave stack and dive. I feel that we've played a lot of games where like a uh, way to kind of look for a like a dive like we talk about it and we're playing like and we talk about like playing strong side and that usually means like we can punish the uh, uh side that we are trying to like um like play towards like strong side so like sometimes we just like don't take that um initiative and like dive the enemy laner to put them behind so we uh, will be definitely talking about that um object permanence so the first thing uh, that we'll talk about so what is object permanence object permanence is the understanding that objects continue to exist even when they cannot be sensed so sensed as in like seen or heard um so object meaning a physical object obviously and permanence means that the object itself is stable solid whether or not you can see it so um We'll just like watch this video so like <laughs> to tell you kind of what i mean by object permanence right so you see the uh the lady she hid the the toy under the first blanket right and the child pulled up the first blanket but now when she puts the toy under the second blanket the kid is like trying to look for where it was the first time which was under the first blanket but he doesn't find it and so the baby's upset Right? So that's like object permanence. Like, even though it's not there, we should know she, like, li we literally saw her put it under the blanket, right? The second blanket? Yep. Her baby's a moron. Sorry. True. That's no. <laughs> I oh, hey. oh, hey. no. <laughs> Okay. So here's a clip from um, Family Guy. Fog. Take a surprise than that. Well, this is a bigger surprise than that time Peter vanished into thin air. Hey, Stewie, peekaboo! Yes, I see you, fat man. <gasps> Where's Gary? <laughs> what? Where did you go? Oh, this is impossible! But well, I, I can hear you, but I can't see... Really, must really be gone. Peekaboo! Ah! How the hell did you do that? Look, I thought you disappeared, otherwise I wouldn't have picked my... Oh, great, leave when I'm right in the middle of a sentence. Did you guys hear that? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I thought man. that was pretty funny. So that's basically what it is, right? So like, um, the lack of object permanence would be like what Stewie was doing, right? Well, this is a biggest. All right, go next. All right. Um, so the next thing we'll talk about is um in conjunction to object permanence. Object permanence is in conjunction with uh, working memory. So, what is working memory? Uh, so working memory is like the capacity that you can hold information temporarily, right? Like that's why, um, you know, why phone numbers are like seven digits long is because, um, people believe that you can hold on to seven pieces of information at a time for a short time. So, yeah. So this is a TED talk you can watch on your own time, but I pulled some um, points from it. I like synthesized them on this page. Um, so in the uh, video, he talks how uh, you need to use working memory in order to use that effectively. You need to talk to somebody about it, process what's going on the moment it happens. So like in game, that would be like telling the person the enemies are heading towards. Like for example, if the mid is like going bot and you kind of see that happening like you need to immediately talk to somebody about it right so you don't forget about it otherwise you're gonna have like the surprise pikachu face when they show up and it's like wow who would have thought right um and then the next thing is that you need to think about it elaboratively and illustratively so in league of legends that would be telling the person how the enemies are going to reach them like they're gonna path through bot or they're gonna path behind the dragon pit or something like that right or they're gonna like go into the jungle to catch to catch up to you right that's like illustrating what's gonna happen and 
Um, the next thing that you can do to help your teammates is organization. So structure uh, what they're going to do so that it makes sense to them. So in league, you can add on to that and be like, hey, you need to leave um, now or like you need to back off to tower now or you need to like leave the tower and like go base or you can come mid and farm mid instead and I'll go bot, right? So that's giving them something to like another, like telling them like another option that they can, you know, work towards. And so that would also lead on to like the support part of it where, um, you know, you tell them. So it's basically like a combination of everything, right? You tell them what's happening, how they're going to do it and what your response is to that. And to like support them by offering them solutions. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. Any questions so far? Um I have this little game that you could play. Um I'll just link it in the general chat. Do you want to play it now, or do you want to play it... Dania, have you played this one yet? No. The Cups one. I saw it, but I haven't I haven't tried it out for myself yet. Do we want to play that now, or do you want to play it later? Um, Let's try it now. Maybe just for a little bit. Yeah, so just go through it one time. It seems pretty simple. Basically, it's like, you know, the thing where like you put like a coin under a cup, and the cup rotates. I know it sounds pretty stupid, but like we're like that's basically what object permanence is like in a way where like it's not like stupidly easy like putting like a toy under a blanket and lifting up the blanket right right i mean i got up to level 10 i actually couldn't beat the game i would think that i'm pretty good at it myself but um uh, i failed level one <laughs> what oh. how is that possible <laughs> level four this Perfect. game's too hard. I, I got can up to level like 10, so go ahead, like, give it a try. If anyone can, like, complete level 10 and prove to me that you did it, like, by sending me a screenshot, like, you'll get a gold star. Oh, I'll give you a gold star. Oh, no! Wow. I lost at level 7! Fucking lost at level 8. My life is pain. So we gotta beat level 10, right? Yeah, well, I made it up to level 10, and I failed at level 10. Yeah. That was good enough for me. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck, I wasn't looking. Okay. I'm on level 6 and I'm barely paying attention to it. We'll give it like a few more minutes and then we can move on. Okay, I got the level 8. I'm content with that. You died at level 8. Fuck. Yeah, I clicked on the wrong cup on accident. <laughs> I knew where they were and I clicked on the wrong cup. <laughs> I thought my mouse was over the right cup and I clicked on the wrong one. <laughs> Sad. I'm going to post another link in the chat. So you just go to, uh, you follow the instructions. You like click the click the link, and then you enter that code in. Are we all done? No one can beat me. One more try. One more try. All right. Let's see it, Danya. Oh, 
told my friend I was learning about object permanence. He said, go take an English class. Go <laughs> take an English class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you don't want to listen to what Pope had to say. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, what did he tell me I had the worst object permanence on the team? Because it's probably true. No, that, he didn't say anything about anybody. He just said in general statement, blanket statement. Well, what was the what was the blanketed statement, right? Hold on, let me see. Um, he said, let me find it. Boom, bitch. Let's go. I beat level 10. Fantastic. You did a good star. Oh, What's your true. proof? Send it to Gen Chat. Actually, can't yeah, find what you said. Because I disagree yeah. currently. Yep, <laughs> I'm also in disagreement. Alright, so Wait, another how do I, one. How do I share it? Well, yeah, you can Just post in general chat. chat if you want. Is this, fucking, is this fucking Mario Party? Yes, we're gonna play a Mario Party game. Bog? Wait, All right. because I am a Osu player, I can track the. Wait. Hey, that's not fair. Is is everybody in the link? Is everyone in the room? I'm getting it. I'm confused. It's the. Uh, it's asking the me if I have one. confusion barometer, and I said I am getting it. The this okay, that's fine. Then you're on the right place if you've signed in. Yeah. You joined the thing, right? I am confused. You're confused. Confusion Thank you. Barometer. Um. Currently confused. Me, I've lost my tab again. Okay, here it is. So we're gonna play this video. Confused. Start. Oh, this first godforsaken game. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? Oh shit. Answer the question. Wait, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I'll go back. Just for you. Wait, uh, where do we answer it? Yeah. In the link? It Does just it... says confusion brother. Uh, yeah. yeah, it just says that. Oh, hold on. Let me try this. I need to press this button. Now do you see the question? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. play the video again, though, because yeah. that was a confused. Yeah. Does a bullet bill count as fruit? No. <laughs> no. Bro, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Who answered three? Me? What? Wasn't it? Yeah, it's just. It's four. Oh, no. oh I thought it was total. Yeah, different. Yeah. Three. Four total pieces of fruit. There's just three actual, like, different fruits. Oh, I actually thought it was fucking. I have an animal. Bad English. Yo! Uh, oh. Wait, should I. The fuck is a Koopa? What? The flying thingy. The, the, the toad like thing. Fuck, I didn't pay that. That? Oh wait, yeah, the I. next question. Cause... Wait, how do you answer it? I don't even know. Pineapple. Go back to a bat? Oh. Pin... What? Oh, no, number three. Apple. Okay. There's okay. a bullet bill. Bro, what? <laughs> wait, that bull, I got it. Fuck. Wait, how... Um... Alright, this is testing my memory, not my object permanence. Well, it, it's like, it it's leads- It's both, yeah. It's like both. There's two. That's good, because I can't- Pog? <laughs> 
All right. Well, <laughs> do we want to do one more round, or are we good? I'm good. You're I'm good? good. Okay. All right. Moving on. So, like, for, those are some examples of games you can like, um, you can play to kind of test your like, or to improve your like object permanence or like That's your your memory of like where people like were last seen right so this is an example um like leading on to the memory part of it right building on the memory part of it like we're gonna take a look at how like a um a bot like a script would see the game um this does not mean that we like we support you using scripts like don't cheat don't use it but i'm just gonna show you what it looks like and how you can apply the kind of like strategies that a bot uses into your own games so we're just gonna look so if you pay attention to the um, the icons on the map do you see how like there's um a little timer on the last place they were seen before they show up again do you see that i don't see the timer yeah I oh wait now oh there's here. zero thing. yo why, to... why do you flash <laughs> i'm trying to find a moment in time where it's like really obvious do we all see it or do i need to like pause at a certain point does it make sense? Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, so, like, yeah. kind of, like, when you're playing the game, like, like, pay attention to the map and pay attention to, like, where you last saw them and a few moments before or after to see which direction they went, right? Like, for example, um, if we last saw them, like, start, like, mid lane, the mid laner, like, um, like, he's like kind of on the bottom side of the lane, he's obviously gonna path the bot, you know? So like, yeah. keep that in mind where you last saw them and which direction they were going to go. Like, how often do you look at your maps? Well, Daniel would say never. <laughs> uh, my, man, my mans doesn't know when dragon spawns. <laughs> like pretty often. Like it's also on the other side of my eye. Yeah. Like I pretty much like look at my map every. Oh, you have two eyes on both sides. Not right now. He only has one. Is he a fucking sloth? Like it depends <laughs> on like the state of the game, but usually I'm looking at the map like two, three, two or three times a second. And You're then. Supposed to look at it like once every time you take a minion, I think. But yeah. If you're support, I guess it's not the same, but yeah, if I'm support, I get to look at it more often, right? But it's like the same thing, the same concept. Like you need to be looking at your map so that like you can notice things, right? Especially since if they only appear for like half a second, right? Yeah. And we've all seen the clip where my AD I post in general with my AD Clary like walked up to like the bush, even though they literally walked out and walked back in. Remember that clip? I don't. How do I? I don't think I've seen yeah, it. That's okay. I'll post it another time. But um, can we're gonna start with the the yellow, the yellow um box here? How long it takes for someone to walk from the fountain to their first tower? All right. So how long would it take you to walk from? Fountain to f the outer lane towers with no boots. 30 seconds. 40, 45. Anyone else want to give a guess? Oh, to your tower, to the middle of the lane. To the tower. Maybe like 25? Uh, 40 20, seconds. 28 to 30. How about for how about for tier one boots? Probably thirty-five. Would yeah, you think fun. would it be faster or slower than having no okay, boots? Guys. Oh shit! <laughs> it's oh, like twenty-two. 
Anyone else want to give a guess? Probably 25. Like 26, yeah, 25. No, wait, you just gained two seconds. What? Well, think about it. You have 400 movement speed. So the what? difference is only like a couple percents. Where do you right. get 400 move speed? Like your bait or 370, right? And then you get 25. You get like 5% extra movement speed, right? Just boost tier one. Like uh, if you like, um, move speed is counted by units per second, right? So 20, you get additional 25 units per second, uh, which is, uh, a, a, uh, it's like 25 is like a quarter of a Teemo. So you are that much fat, a quarter of a Teemo further than where you would be without boots in one second. Mm -hmm. Right? How about for tier two boots, which is plus 45? I'm gonna go with 25, uh, 24 22. to 25 seconds. Yeah. 23. All right, Fox. Mullen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 36. So it's 22 to 24. Um we're going to uh talk about how long it takes to go to mid lane now. So we're going to do the the blue box we see here. So how long would it take from fountain to first tower with no boots? 26 to 28. So would it be faster or slower than the side lanes? It should faster, be faster. faster. Right. So, That's yeah, true. 23 to 25. How about for tier 1 boots? I'll shave two what seconds off, no? <laughs> yep. How about tier tier? How about tier 2? Yeah, shave, another, shave, shave another four seconds off, sir. Ma'am. Right, uh, and how about... Uh, we're going to do the purple ones. The, the left purple first. Or, like, they're both basically the same thing, except, like, one's a second difference so how long would it take from um blue fountain to uh barren pit with no boots 35 maybe 34 33 30 to 32 how about with boots shave two seconds off yep and then we get the pattern take here right yeah. yeah how about from red base to dragon 26 27 Anyone else? What should it be close to? Because Daniel's like wrong. <laughs> what? I think it's like thirty-four. No, it should be longer. What? Uh, I meant from. I meant at the other purple line. Oh, I guess like thirty. Oh, the other. Purple. The other purple line. Sorry. Okay, I thought that was red. Oh, okay. So right, from 30, red base 30, to 30. dragon. Uh, uh... Should it be 30, 30, 30. similar or different to the other one? I think it's the same, no? Yeah, it's like pretty much the same, just like a diff a second difference, but it's like if you remember one, you'll remember the other, right? Yeah. And then following the pattern, we get the point. How about going back to what Daniel was uh, talking about? The red line? So from blue, uh, I think we're talking, I think my slide is in from red. We'll start with red side. Red, um, Base to Baron, in front of Baron. How long would that take? 33. Like 32 to 34, and obviously following the pattern. How about from the other side to, from blue base to um, in front of uh, Dragon Pit? One second less. No. Probably the same. The same, pretty much. Right, because the map is like fairly mirrored uh, about the mid lane, but like there's like a little bit of uh, there's little minor differences, which um, Yusuf would probably know. You know, the little Elise into the wolves part. Wait, what? Oh yeah, because there's a different. So from blue side, you can at least jump from the wall onto the wolves, but you can't do that on red side. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. <laughs> I thought you would. <laughs> stealing any, uh, stealing your uh, jungles camps. Yep. Um. Now we're gonna talk about uh rotating from uh so rotating during pathing of the river. We're gonna start with the yellow one. So how long would it take from you to mid move from top to mid through the river or Vice versa, or mid to bot, and vice versa. Twenty seconds. 
17. So 20, the 22. Pain. Pain. Okay. I'm not a midliner. And then the next one. So it strips up basically like two seconds off instead of the four for the last one. And how about from top to bot or bot to top with no boots? 45, 40, yeah. 40. Anyone else? Yusuf, what do you think? Uh, not 40, so wait, wait, the whole way? Yeah. Yeah, probably like 45. Or 30, oh. something. Yeah, 42 what? to 44. And then we just follow along with that pattern. Any questions about that so far? Okay. Now we're going to watch um, a video I compiled of our solo queue games we played yesterday, Yusuf. Um, oh, all good. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to watch the video. And I'll pause as needed. So once again, you would answer your questions in the um discussions like on the little the last link that we used make sense yeah. play how do i play it should be playing jb Oh, wait, this is so embarrassing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I remember this. There's two questions. I hope you guys are paying attention. Yo, what is your cursor? It's a custom one. Is that one of the questions? No. <laughs> okay, the clip is almost over. Describe what Blitz and Annie were doing the entire time of that fight. They were fighting the cane, I think it was. In like, red side jungle. No. You want to have anything else to say? Um, no. Do we all agree with that? I guess we can talk about this answer. <laughs> yeah, so if we looked at it, like, they were fighting Kane and Echo was up there too, so, like, they were just doing whatever, and we saw that where? How do we know that? From the minimap? The mini -map? From the minimap, yes. Why did it stop? Go back to the beginning. Uh, when was the first instance that we saw Blitz start pathing bot? So where was he? He was in the is red side jungle, but. Uh... I don't remember. Body died. No. There's there's a definite correct answer, and none of you has said it yet. We want to watch it again, from somewhat here. Yeah. Oh, actually, oh. it was. Uh, 
after the mid fight. He's coming through river after right the fight. Right here. Do you see that? It was right here. Yeah, yeah after the mid fight, he starts walking down. So, how long would it take him to walk down from that point? Did he have mobies or still gonna? Um, let's yeah, see. I think I pressed tab, right? Yeah, just well, assume that he has like tier one boots. How long would it take for him to walk down to Yusuf? Like 18 seconds then, around. Yeah, something like that. Probably 16 because he has double you. Pog. Oh. Pog, okay, extra points. Let's go. Okay. Right, next clip. Expelled. When did I see Annie walking down? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. You didn't. We did. Oh, I mean, we did, yeah. Yeah, you play it back. I mean, now it's easier because we know what to look for, but. It went so fast. I would play with sound because I have like audio cues too, but like um, sometimes we have like cringe conversations. <laughs> oh, we saw her on top try there. It's you're just playing Yasuo, right? Yeah, we saw her Yusuf, walk how'd you, passing how'd you down. How did Winwall that? Huh? Winwall the hook, man. React. We the saw her button. passing down, so we see her on the top lane right now yeah, and we see her walking down way. right here right yeah through yeah. tribe through tribe bush top okay next one okay we'll keep watching this and this is what happens when we don't listen to when we have a fail of object permanence you know I even say it that's an object permanence test fail yeah right there <laughs> Yeah, so this is the next clip. I'll play it, I guess, down to normal. So we're fighting here. What is about to happen in the next few seconds? <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> we'll fucking bore the Sione. <laughs> Good to put it politely, dude. So oh, sorry, could you repeat that? Garen, Garen will do bad thing to Yon. And how do we know that? Because we saw him walk down. We saw him walk down. Yep. Literally right okay. here. We see him on mid lane. So what was the correct play for Yusuf then? What was the uh, he other? Go towards you after killing yeah. Yes. Get out of there. Yeah, so he needs to walk away the other way and not pack <laughs> mid through that direction. Get fucking shit on. Alright, this is another clip. Okay, we see something's happening top. Who's going up to be up here and where? Garen's gonna one shot that character. Garden, probably. So Garen is gonna be up there and where? Like towards the like in red the side tower. Try again. Do we need to Probably. replay the clip? Probably up to Tribush. Up to Tribush. Yeah, I'll replay it real real quick. We even ping him too. Right there. He's walking literally to the Tribush. We see that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Wow, what a surprise. <laughs> surprise Pikachu face. Alright, there's another question for this clip. He came. Is it safe to keep fighting? Yes. Why? Because there's no, no one else there. The 1v3? No one else there? Why is there no one else here? Or how do you know? We saw Wukong bot lane. Oh, bot. Uh, we saw more than Wukong bot lane, actually. I mean, we saw their bot lane, bot lane, and <laughs> Wukong bot lane. Yes.
There's another question for this uh, clip after this. It continues. It's going to happen soon. Very soon. Like Where was Wu 15 seconds ago? Where is he now? Where is the rest of the enemy team? Oh, quite, quite sorry. You can try answering this one. The first question. Where was Wu 15 seconds ago? I think bot lane. Okay, but uh, why do you think he's bot lane? I think he was fighting the Yon. He was oh, fighting yeah. the Yon, like, way over here. Oh. Right, the last time we saw him was here, which is at 16, 18, right? And the question that I have is at maybe a little bit before this. It's been 30 seconds that we last saw him. Right here. There's yeah. a there's a visual indicator. Yeah, his bot line, he took the mark. He, he was taking his bot camps. Mullen, <laughs> he said the answer for <laughs> Quasar. All right, what did Mullen say, Quasar? He's taking the kindred mark. Yeah, so when does the Kindred Mark expire? When does it go off? 1530 or... seconds after it's taken. So 15, 15 to what? 30. Uh, no, it's a specific number. It's just 15. Alright. You play Kindred, man. Yeah, uh. I've been diverting <laughs> away from Kindred for a reason. Uh, but like that knowledge should be like retained though. Um, yeah. So where is he now? Where do you think? Probably in base. Uh, anyone else have any other ideas? Spotting back toward top side. Anyone else? In his jungle. All right. What's Yone doing right here? Pushing. Without vision. Pushing without vision? Is he free? No. Is he free? Everyone on the enemy team is missing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so he's not free, but he's a free pick for the enemy team, right? Yes. Right. Because we they know that we backed on top side, or we're still top side right here, right? So yeah. getting a he's alone by himself, balling right now, and we literally see Garen there coming, right? And we know Wukong was like bot, and we are pushing the tower, but. Is that Yusuf? Maybe. <laughs> Object permanence fail. Get fucking Garen ulted for that. <laughs> um, here's another clip. When did we say that? Uh, when did we see Diana at the earliest? Uh, like ten seconds ago. Like... Literally where was at she? The beginning of the clip. Yeah, where was she when we first saw her? Fighting down from mid lane. I will watch this clip again. Starting now. We see her here, but even before we saw her, we saw her take the scuttle, right? Yeah. So even before we saw her, we knew where she was, right? Yeah. And what else do we see? What else do we notice? A colleague was coming. A colleague was coming. Yes. And we saw her walking down from where? Mid. From mid. mid. And we see her again on the scuttle. 
or the, there's a ward on the scuttle. End of this clip, maybe? Yeah, that was the end of this clip. So, next clip. <laughs> hey. Zach, you okay over there? Yeah. The guy's dying. I can't tell if the person piloting this vein is okay in the head. <laughs> <laughs> how many vision? How many wards did we walk in vision of? Enough. How many? Uh, I didn't. I didn't count. <laughs> Anyone else have any other idea? Do. What about uh, Jesus? What? How many did you do? Did we see? If Jesus is here. <laughs> or Jesus is just dead inside. We'll watch it again. I think it was this. We see one right here. In the bar dragon pit. And we see how many Two, here? Three. Two. Three. There you go. Four. There's a twitch there. That's a ward. <laughs> Uh, I would two? actually accept that. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna and, go with four. Yep. <laughs> I'll take the answer four or three. All right. Here's the next clip. Watch carefully. Diana is fucking depressed. Oh, Yusuf's piloting the vein. I see. <laughs> Understandable now. <laughs> you psychopath. That would all make sense. Where did Diana start her clear? What camps did she clear? <sighs> I'd oh, assume I she know. started. I'm assume she started bot Third side if she's. Actually, no. She started top because she came down bot with red. Level two. <sighs> no. What? Shut up, Daniel. <laughs> wait, wait, <replay laughs> I disagree. The clip. Wait, replay the clip. Replay the clip. Replay the clip. The clip? All right. Yeah. Now we know how to which what we're paying attention to. Yeah. Well, we're level three. Uh, Diana is in Pantheon's top jungle currently. Mhm. Mm right. I cover Let's over. Start. Yo, he did oh, all did three bot camps and then into top. Okay, I press top here. Dude. Oh wait, she just did. Yeah. Um, he, no, he she must have done red, blue, red, blue, and then fight Pantheon, though. No? no, no, he didn't. No. She didn't have red. Wait, he did three camps bought into invade, right? No. Four camps. She has sixteen CS. Yeah, but she's still drop, I think. Did she uh, the diagonal clear from Diana? <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> because why? Who does diagonal clear? Okay, In watch, watch. Jungle. What what buff does she have right now? Yes, blue. Blue. Okay, she kills them, she gets red, okay? And then I press tab right here. CS spent Diana's. So how much uh, CS is each camp? Four. Four. So what does this mean? How many camps did she clear? Four. Four camps. How many camps did Pantheon clear? Three. Three. And um, how many camps are missing on the map? Pantheon's. There's three camps missing from our side, right? Yep. So we know, like, it's probably the the grump. She probably like didn't take that, or they were still fighting over it. Yeah. Right. So she did her bot side into the crows into the invade. Cause yep. um, Pantheon started without a leash, so the Gromp wouldn't have been healthy enough for um, her to steal it with Smite. Cause he wouldn't have Wait, like necessarily Diana started it. That fast? Yep. Pantheon didn't start with a leash because he was late. I see. Huh. Okay, that makes sense then. Any questions? Comments, concerns? We doing yeah, okay? Like that. All right, take a break. 
Go take how many how how long do we want? Five, ten? Five or ten? Five. Five. Okay, I will see you at like fifty one. Or fifty two. Yeah, fifty two. Alright. Hi, Pope. I just noticed you got here. I only just got here. I see. Here, I'll send you the video that we just looked at. Yeah, I just started it.
Is everyone back? Yo. <clears throat> Yo. Yes. Yeah, I'm here. Cool. Um, so we're gonna just uh run through the rest of it real quick, and then you guys can go apply this stuff in like um a clash game if you guys want. How does that sound? Okay. Cool. Uh, we'll talk about this maybe um another time. But these are just uh reminder slides of like when minions um spawn and when they will meet in the lane. Um, so let's talk about um four wave crashing and diving right so when you are going to do this you or diving in general the questions you want to answer are sorry um state of the minion wave so where is your minion wave and how like is it stacked or whatever um second question do you have flash does enemy team have flash um next one would be who is going to take the tiger um uh, tower aggro first and then how do you leave or your exit strategy um if you ha don't have target champions only you're kind of griefing please like <laughs> please enable it <laughs> okay we're just gonna look at a bunch of clips and then we can talk through them So this was an example of like tower diving mid lane. Literally still with the hive watch. So, um, is it good or bad that he died here? It's great. It's, it's, it's great. Hard. Why is that? That he died. He misses the whole wave. Yeah. Right. That the and, LeBlanc I mean, misses the whole wave. Yeah. So not first only did he two, kill correct? the laner. Sorry. It's first blood too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he gets an extra hundred gold and he's denying waves. Yeah, so he, yeah, like... Kill the person and deny the wave. So that's like a double whammy for LeBlanc. Um, next one. We'll look at um a top lane can dive. I, can I can I be a, a rude little weasel? Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> on that previous on that previous clip, did anybody see what he did as the cannon wave approached? Like how he perfectly stacked. I that noticed wave? it. I noticed it too. Yeah, we're Way support players, so we see this. So let's before we show it rope, did you see it? No, I didn't see it. All right, watch, watch what, watch what, um, um, Vex is gonna do. She's gonna pull the wave, um, by walking between mid and raptors. Watch. So right, yeah, right here, right. It's like as the cannon's approaching. I think this is the wrong. Way. It's when he starts stacking the wave. It's fine. You can just play it. Like just, just play it and skip out a little bit. Yeah, this is fine. This is good. Or are you too far? Is this a different too game? Far? It's not even the same game. Yeah, this is fine. That's level four now. Too far. Right here. Right here, right? Right here. It was before this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So here he gets the big trade, right? And he's willing to spend his health for that, right? So right here, he does this. He actually pulls the minion wave, um, like which denies a couple more of the CS from LeBlanc. So there's some CS that like died while she was coming up, and it makes sure it makes sure that there are as many of his minions alive and healthy as possible. So like she's not losing one wave, she's losing essentially two waves of experience here almost, right? When he trades this kill, like even if LeBlanc got the first blood, this is still a good one for one, right? And that little bit of like pulling the wave makes that possible as well. Like look at how many fucking minions are here, bro. She's so sad. Like, she's so sad. 
And he's just zoning the wave, so it can't even come up to his. And he doesn't stop zoning her. And he's willing to die for it, right? As soon as she Ws, he doesn't care. What can she do, right? Um, You can continue. But it's just the way he pulled the wave is super, super important there. Wait, can you show the wave pull again? It was like the first two melee minions that got pulled. From the third wave. Uh, where is it? No, too far. That's too not far. even this angle. Yeah, I think yeah, right, right here you can, but the screen is like, yeah, we don't see everything. Uh, slow it down right here. Pause it and slow it down just so they can see like how it gets pulled. Can you put it in full screen? Oh. Yep. Pull it down even more. See, he gets vision, he pulls the wave, and like, see how long it takes these melee minions to die that are low health because of the way he pulled it? Like, he he's basically generating extra minions in this stack. Uh, 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 by doing uh, this. Does the pull matter? I think he's just warding, no? Yeah, I think that's what. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I mean, Doing two you can say time. that. Yeah, you can say that the pull doesn't matter, but like you're wrong. Like fundamentally, that's wrong. It's not that it doesn't matter. He's saving extra minions on this. It's a way to keep this wave as thick as possible. Yes, he gets the ward, but he wards as it's time for him to pull the wave. So he does two things with one movement, and it took less than two seconds for him to do that. And that's like a huge part of what makes this whole thing possible. Like this whole sequence here is just like a nightmare for LeBlanc. And this is just like what it would look like when somebody that is that much better than you is playing against you in lane. They are willing to do things like this, right? Um, so I don't know. Uh, you can think it's not important if you want to, but it's just something I wanted to point out. You know, I, I, I was questioning. I wasn't making a statement. It seemed like he was just going for a ward and that was a consequence. Um, but yeah, yeah I, I I, he could have warded whenever, right? He chose to ward as he could pull the wave. It's doing two bo both tasks at one time. True, true. Next. This one. Mm. Emo jungle. Like, it doesn't even matter if it's Teemo jungle. Like, Aatrox knows he dies here. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, if you're the top later in this situation, you need to be communicating to your team that you're going to die on this wave. Right? Like, Zed could have rotated if this was a comp game, which it's not. Right? If the jungle was pathing up, they'd, the jungle would be here by now. But without this... having the ability to communicate that to your team, it's like very hard to respond to this. But he, how long did he know he was going to die, right? We don't need a specific answer. That's just for context, right? He knows he's going to die for quite some time there. Oh, yeah, um, so... the big trade that he took. It was... Yep. Like, for well, about... Like really common in top play that dive. I would say, days. like, at this point, like, a dive is going to happen. Yeah. Like criteria knows that right. yeah, it's obvious. It's obvious from that point. Yeah, it's and this top. clip I, is honestly, even like plot top lanes do that shit. Yeah, so they ha he had a minute to prep the next wave and dive, right? Yep. And that's why, like, when you clear the jungle, especially as a jungler, you want to pan your map. Like you're you sorry, pan your camera, like specifically so you can see the wave situation, right? Mm -hmm. So if you like panned at any point during the one minute before this actually happened, like you would have known. What rank is this, by the way? 
Yeah, this is uh, this is like masters. Are you serious? The yeah, Aatrox suck. <laughs> this is Luhan, so this is masters. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll yeah, watch... and that, that uh that Vex is uh showmaker too, no? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was Yosu. Yeah, I'm not surprised about the Vex. Yeah, the Vex is. Yeah, that was you, Zephyr. Yeah, that was you. <laughs> what a rude Kane Storm. What a fucking name here, bro. Why? <laughs> Old ass video. They still got the fucking, uh. That's a clean dive. No. Holy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why? What makes it so clean? I would be so fucking mad. They, jugg they juggled the aggro pretty well. Yeah, with the Camille ult. Yeah, Camille yeah. ult in R. Do you want to watch it again, or do we want to move on? Give it to me Let's again, watch mom. It again. Give sure. it to me again, mom. <laughs> they should have waited for the just just clear the. Oh, I guess Camille is gonna wave clear. Yeah, that was very well played. Except I one hundred percent feel like I would have died there. Let's let's be honest. Kane Kane flash late. Also, right? Kane dies with new towers. Yeah, came out of new tower. This That's is what, Wait, what this do you is mean? New tower. Yeah, they Holy changed fuck. tower damage. Oh, there's not. Wait, did even they plates. change tower damage for the plates? Like when plates were a thing? Because this is before plates. Yeah, this was like, like a Kane, long time but ago. Kane but... also could have flashed before the final tower shot aggroed him. Mm -hmm. So that dive is still okay. And uh -huh. it's just for context on juggling aggro. We don't need to get into the minutia of, oh my god, Kane dies. What a fucking scrub. Like. That's not what's important about that clip, right? Yeah, the the point is as like we see what's happening here, just like watch it in general. Um, but like the importance of that last clip was to talk about um like juggling aggro, right? So resetting with yeah. um Camille R and Kane R, right? Is that the clip from today? Yeah. Imagine imagine getting your jinx this far ahead and she actually can't play the game because she's a win trader, bro. Well, actual win trader. Like Han Solo should be fine. He did five thousand damage in game four. Yeah, Bard did more. This is game yeah, this... one. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, uh, Han Sama is allergic to actually uh, itemizing correctly. Like it's terminal, but he yeah, won't what, be on this what, team uh, next what mythic did he go? You have to go Gale Force against Bard. Did he go Kraken? Uh, yeah, he went Kraken every time. Danny, yeah. Danny went Gale Force when he got Jinx. Yeah, I mean, I think that game he should have. And that's that's uh, Danny. Danny Danny's really. going to Worlds. You know what I mean? <laughs> a little bit of a uh, boring I mean, stuff. <laughs> Dan, Danny griefed the fuck out of the last game, I think. Yeah, I don't a think Danny bit. objectively played that Wait, well. Who but, won? Yeah. Uh, eg. TL does not go to Worlds, but that's not yeah. what's important. We're we're lo looking at a stacked wave, right? Like it's topical because it's today's game. Um. And while you can't necessarily see how this is being executed, what's happening right now is they're using their ranged advantage and their power level one to harass the Senna and Kench, right? Because even if Kench has the health to maintain, right, he can't match the pushing power of Lulu Jinx. Like, he just can't, right? It's not possible. You know what I mean? But, so not only are they going to get level two first, but they're going to actually start stacking up the wave. Oh yeah, what what is uh the highlighted part that I wanted to why it's so long is that um the the level one wards, right? So we see in Tribush, they warded that level one. Um and then um like blue team cleared it, right? So that they know where um well they see him when Trundle walks down, right? So he walks away. And then Since we know uh, Jarvan started bot, right? We see red, and then we see um, that he has. Well, they would see that he like cleared three camps, right? So then, like after this, we would know that Jarvan's gonna go top, right? So there's no one to protect um, blue team's bot lane uh, from a dive. Yes. So that's that's the setup. The whole entire setup to. Like four minutes. Wait, can you re? I really didn't understand. Yeah, I. 
I'm lost right now. So like, um, like from the level one wards, we scouted like the junglers, right? And then we saw the junglers again on the fighting for the scuttle, right? And because of that, we know Jarvan's top side, yes, because of yeah. the buffs and the and pressing tab CS, right? So we yeah. know that Jarvan can't protect them from this dive. We also know that they warded this. So Trundle's staying out of vision here, and then he's gonna walk down. So he's literally just sitting there right now, right? He sits, sit, uh, he sat there for like five seconds, and then this dive is guaranteed, right? Oh, okay, that's what you. Yep. So the the range champ starts this dive. That way they can back out of turret aggro at low health, right? Yeah, um, yeah Lulu tanked. Because she has the ability to pull aggro and then shield, so she can actually take two shots by herself. And if not, then she can get out, and it allows you to finish that. Wait, are you are you guys That's showing it. something on the stream, or is that just LCS? Uh, huh? yes, yes, and yes to both. Oh, you are you talking? You're talking about are you talking about about LCS? Yeah, these are being okay. used as bot lane dive examples. Um, oh, okay, gotcha. And how level one led to this. Like, TL planned this before the game started. So Wukong did, uh, what, red raids, Grom? Yep. And then... So now EG is trying to prevent a dive again, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, they're not preventing it. They're, it's just happening. It. It's just happening. No, I'm saying EG is trying to prevent a dive with that ward. Core goes out and sweeps it. Here it comes, dude. You know what I mean? And same same story as game one. What can they do in this situation, right? It's literally the exact same prepared dive they just hit them with. They and try the to TP to respond. TP. Yeah, it doesn't matter though, right? And like, there's no response. Jungle if diff. You pre, if you pre-plan, I mean, it's just like like strat diff. Like this is like what TL was doing to generate leads when they were trying to play the game correctly. Um, you, you have to like actually stick to a plan you can set a plan at, in the loading screen, like as the draft is happening, um, and prepare dives like that. You can't just wing a dive like that. That has to be planned from before minions spawn in order for everything to happen at the right time. Right. And they executed not once, but twice in the same series and they still lost because that jinx is a win trader. Right. Was uh, that, oh, dive on wave two or wave three? They were level two, so. Um, so game the, game it? one was the one we just uh, saw. Yeah, game one was at four minutes. This one happens at about three and a half. Yeah, yeah minutes. like I'm just wondering what wave it is. It's the cannon wave, so third wave. Yes, yeah. it's the third to fourth wave. Yeah. Okay. So okay. That, when if you ever have heard me, I know that you have not been in as many like team sessions as the rest of the players Zach, in. Um, but I've talked about diving on the fourth wave a lot and why it's important, and I've heard a lot of um rebuttal from players saying oh that's just an lpl tech because they're good players um, this is a team that literally isn't going to worlds and they executed this dive twice from na right they're in clown region they're not going to worlds and they executed this dive twice you Ooh. can teach players how to play the game correctly right like it's up to them to execute and so here they're able to like do right now today just did this right these level one dives on these waves and get away right it's just a matter of actually jug juggling turret aggro. That, that's the fourth wave, though. The wave yep. coming in, is th that's the fourth wave, right? Yeah, the wave yep. coming in is fourth, so that was oh, the third they wave. Crashed, they, yeah, they crashed second wave. Okay. Three wave, that would make no sense. Yep, game oh, one was a f dive on the fourth wave, and this game was diving on the third wave. Yeah. Can you oh, show the four, four wave on? It, or do you have it? Yeah. It's harder to see because they're doing weird shit with the camera. <laughs> okay. Um... It won't let me do the. Oh, here we go. It's like way over here, I think. Four yeah, wave? Right here. Uh, you'd like crash on two and then stack the next one, I guess, or some shit like that. I, I don't think Otherwise, you can see You don't it crash here. it ever. You don't crash it until the fourth wave. So they're going to pan back. But down. I think if you are only last hitting, it'll be a three wave. That's, that's why I'm curious. I'm like, I want to see how it plays. So what so they're doing is instead is of fourth? instead of trading with minions, they are. This is the third. This is the third, right? So they clear yep. this. So this should crash. Okay, so it's on the third wave again. Yeah, three, three, three wave is what it's normally. Um, 
you can get the fourth wave to stack up behind this cannon in bot lane. It's like a little bit more technical, but it's still very doable, right? But the 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 premise is the same, right? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Premise is you same. want that cannon to be able to tank that turret for you. That's the major point, and it's also denying the cannon when you get that kill, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So having the whether it's the third or the fourth wave, it's having the cannon at the tower is objectively the important part, because it gives you time to get everyone in position to like perfectly execute the dive and you don't have to panic because that cannon can take a shitload of turret shots right because it's percentage damage to minions yeah for sure so that's with jungle though but in like if you know your 2v2 matchups you can also just uh 2v2 dive although it's I, harder I with tower changes but it's still doable like in certain matchups yep just like we saw the solo tower dive from a vex you know what i mean on a leblanc of all champs yeah, exactly. And, and in that case, it traded. So a lot of time bot lane, what you can do is you'll kill maybe like the ADC and maybe your support dies, but the like enemy ADC will lose the whole waves too, right? So it's fine to, to go for. Like as opposed to like just resetting, for example. Yeah. All right, we'll watch this clip with comms. We lost CD. <laughs> so I jinxed it now, guys. Hey, we can actually press the top wave. I can be behind them, right? I can move, yeah. Okay, he just did, by the way, this yeah. guy. Yeah, I'm ulting the wave. Okay, I'm in bot, I'm in bot. He's on him. You go first, or I okay, go first? I will just tank. I will, I will uh, stun him. I can't stun him. Let this guy stun. I can stun. Nice. Uh, good. Good boys. Yes, yes, no okay. yes, no so that's an example with, like, like how you like prepare how you're talking about like even before they moved up there like when they were still sitting in mid they were already talking about it right hmm. right and then how it they'll talk a bit they're talking about like what the wave is like i'm pushing the wave um the second uh question to be answered was like um who's tanking right so they talked about like cc and then they talked about who's tanking and you know they executed how they leave they just leave right not the I can't in uh, one of the TLEG games, I think uh, uh, the top laner, I forget who, I just it's just solo dove at like level two, level three, got a kill, got out. Yeah, yeah. Stop his base. Yeah. Also, no, 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 it's fine, I've dove into, dove into, dove into. Okay, we can also get plays, maybe it's better. Like five. No, no, no. I mean, this, this guy is half shit, no? I mean, has no ulti though. I mean, has ulti though. Um, uh, I think we can, we can. I can walk him. down if I make it. Just stab you him and we want to. Right, just loot tank, loot tank. Oh, they're at home, actually? Yeah, just run if you I'm fine, though. Okay, call keys, mids. Alright, so that's an example of, like, how your commu how like a pro team would communicate a dive, right? Yep, Lulu just tanks that and S keys the turret until it's time for her to walk out. Just poly, like, auto polymorph, right? Lulu has aggro, she just stands there. And now her team can do that dive for free, right? Yeah, like, so... Like, if, if you have a Karma or Renata in that situation, how easy is that dive, right? Or even a Thresh, you know? Yeah, Karma's a good champion to think about it with, because a lot of the time she gets prior. So, like, a lot of times she'll end up dying on the dive, like just 2v2 or something, but it's fine. Yeah, so um, the last thing to think about before we go is just um, how you can track the first clear, right? So um, the camp would respawn uh at the next so it, it'll it stay at the same level until it like gets cleared so the next time it responds it'll be like at like one three five seven or nine right so basically what i'm trying to say is like the first clear we're just looking at the first one right so um when so the thing to think about is like when uh jungler would hit level three and level four uh just level three and sometimes level four right so if they take if i give the um if they take entire blue side uh let's say no let's let's talk about red um crows into wolves what level are they Okay, why, why, Quasar. okay, yeah. Quas Quasar. Yeah. With what, with the information you see on screen, um, like, um, are you familiar with your camp's experience or no? Do you just wing it? I just wing it. Brother. So in this situation, like, look at the XP differences between these camps, right? And what they're giving you. And then what, how much experience you need to um, level up as a character. That's like what this graph is showing. So if you do red, 
Raptors and Wolves, how much experience are you short of level 3? Anyone can answer. Like One 15? more game. 20? And that's a bit rough. 15 next week. 40? Fuck. No, it's like right at the start. Or like right. Wait, it's down. It's down forty. You're down forty if you do red, red raptors, wolves. Yep. Yeah. Do you now? It's not shown here. Uh, Zach, do you know how much experience minions give you by chance? Early minions, like normal minions. Uh huh. Uh, ye so, sort of. Uh... So, so if the jungler were to leech, let's say the jungler just goes into the bush mid lane, how many minions have to die for the jungler to hit level three if they're down forty XP? If they're down forty, that's probably two melees shared. Right. So unless you're At leeching, like let's say your mid lane is Cassidin and they, they two or three wave crash your mid laner and you're clearing chickens, right? Like they just fast push the Cassidin to make him miss CS. Unless you're in that Raptors pit, leeching the experience from your Cassidin, you will not hit level three on a clear like that. Because um, the experience on these camps is not created equal for a reason. Um, mm -hmm. So like what is a clear you could do to get level three? Uh, red raptors gromp, red blue gromp. All right. Um, so going through like wolves and chickens like this, I know it sounds dumb, and it's like, oh, well, I don't know, like the jungle camp XP. Riot changes this shit every season. Yeah, they they change that shit a lot, like all the time, right? And it's important to keep track of this because it will dictate how you play the game, right? Is is so fastest you... red wolves gromp or? I'm not um, sure, sorry. I'm certain thinking, champs yeah. can snipe like one little chicken and then do wolves gromp. So uh, right now base red wolves gromp doesn't give? Hold on. Red wolves. Or wet, red wolves blue, I apologize. Red wolves blue. Well, you, red blue gromp for sure gives. Yes, red wolves that's blue. like a standard three camp. Yeah, yeah, red wolves blue. 640. Or... It's 945. 9.45. But yeah, that's all I wanted to show. Do we have any... Oh, Did you... my bad. I was reading the wrong XP, but yeah. Um, so, like the... Um, my bad, Zach, and I, I interrupted you with fake math. <laughs> no, you're a good dude. I'm, I'm trying to figure this shit out. But yeah. If you can, like, even though I'm not a jungler, it's important to know this stuff. And, like, if you give me, like, any map situation and a glimpse of their jungler, or not even that, or even, like, a ward in their jungle, I can tell you exactly where he is, what camps he's cleared, and where he's going. Like, at any point in the game. Right? And that's something to, like, that, like, if I can do it as a pistol random, like, you guys can do that too, no? Yep. Also, what, what camps are the most important to steal in terms of experience? I guess Gromp. Gromp. Uh, scuttle is important. Okay, Scuttle's oh, not listed. Krugs. That's bonus answer, but not not Scuttle anymore. We've we've got a blabber scrabber in the chat. <laughs> no, not not the first one. The the ones after. Yeah. So so I heard somebody say Krugs. Uh, Krugs is absolutely the best camp to steal. Look at how much experience that denies, right? So that's why the the standard six clan six camp clear that a lot of people are doing is they're skipping their own Krugs and they're trading it with the enemy team. Hmm. Right. Yeah. So if I if when I told you the other day, Quasar, that like the only time you clear rocks on a six camp is when it's the enemy rocks. This is why, right? Yeah. Um, unless you're a champion that has like some absurdly fast clear rate on your own rocks, right? on your first clear, because um, you could skip a camp to do your Krugs and their Krugs, right? You could technically do that if you could make the time. Like, you could skip your own chickens or something, right? Yeah. Because the XP is just not worth. It's just a matter of can you do that timely, because you have to spend all the time walking to the rocks and then walking past. You know what I mean? Like, the chickens yeah. and everything. So it's just inefficient, whereas if you path from your red towards your Gromp, it's like the most time effective five camp. Um, and then to their Krugs, right, is, like, really, really good. So um, a lot of times uh, when you start um, uh, on red, right, um, whatever side you're starting on, so if you're blue side and you start on red, your bot side is weak side now, 
right? If you're red side and you start on red, your top lane is weak side now, right? Um, and they can expect there to be a jungler at that rocks when you're at it, right? Like if you if you were to flip the map, right? Like basic jungle ideology, if you guys start on like similar camps, is you're going to be on opposite sides of the map as each other, right? Um, and it's important to just note this. This is why I'm like I always am like like butt hurt when I don't see level one words from the team. It's like why I get pissed off. Um, like a major major reason because we're not tracking. We don't know what level the jungler is going to appear, and we don't know what lane they're going to gank first and how much experience they need. Maybe they gank and they help crash the wave. All of a sudden they're level four and the jungler is, was like one camp ahead and is now three camps ahead of experience because they helped crash that wave. Yeah, that's like half of a fucking clear on reset from your jungler to catch up an XP early. right? That's like how far behind they'll be from level six unless something happens in their favor. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the the first clear is like the most volatile stage of the entire game, minus like a 35 minute Baron. And I think people really don't realize that. Yeah, but that's all I had for today. I was saying that um, like we got through a lot and they can uh, apply this stuff in, uh, in, uh, in the Clash game they wanted to play. Oh. Yeah, so uh, just to recap real quick, we talked about object permanence. Uh, and some activities you can do on your own time to like build up um, memory and object permanence. Jungle tracking, we talked about that just now, and a four, how to four stack wave or three stack or whatever, and dive. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yep. thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you, good. teacher. <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, so what, what was the fastest level three, by the way, for uh, for jungle? <laughs> Uh, depends what? on the champion you play, but people are usually do like um, red, blue, uh, uh, red, red, blue ground. Yeah, red, blue ground for sure. But it, uh, I, there's one where you can skip blue, right? Red, it, it's red, wolf red raptors into grump. Red raptors grump. Okay. But like, it's also champion dependent too. Well, yeah, on, on like if they can do the fucking raptors. <laughs> That's true. Yep. So I mean, wait, not it, it, if you can do it with Raptors, yeah, then that means you can do it with Wolves too. So red, red wolves, Gromp, I guess. Uh, no. Red three, wolves, or? Gromp does not give you three. We just talked about that. Yeah, I'm kind of confused by these numbers. What's the starting column? And the what's starting the is if you start that camp, the initial camp you clear. It, you get a bonus, uh, a total bonus of 210 oh, from jungle item, right? Okay, but once you clear that, everything else becomes like the level one. Oh, okay, okay. So only the first camp you clear gives you the bonus 210. So you're so, telling me I should start clearing Krogs every time? Nah, nah, it doesn't even <laughs> spot at three, at like the yeah, spawning time. Spawn, bro. <laughs> okay, and you're telling me I should start clearing Krogs? I just, yeah, I yeah. just put this Wait here, for all the numbers for completeness, <laughs> right? Yep. Uh, to to help people from eating glue and griefing their games, um, one clear that is modified by where you start is the Raptor start. Yeah. 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 You can three camp any camps from Raptors and get level three. So anybody who memes on Raptor start is like, ding dong, like not. It's like fine. It's totally fine. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And junglers, in my opinion, in comp should be starting leashless every game. I agree with that. I concur. I like 100%, unless we have invaded and we've agreed to vertical jungling, we're just making sure the jungler is safe to take the camp. Like, jungler should be starting leashless in comp every fucking time. All right, so if you have a character that has the capacity to clear raptors level one by yourself, insane. The Part of what makes Fiddle so crazy, as long as you prevent him from getting invaded on his first or second, like, camp right yeah it's um, pretty much set like think set about what game. happens if you kill raptors first and then kill red right or kill red first and then raptors it's the same bonus xp it's not like it's different math right but you can actually take both camps at once and then you can go do wolves and take um blue and gromp at once and you five camped in the time it takes somebody to three camp right um yep. that's what makes fiddle scary and fiddle is weakest on his first clear and he's invadable right 
So you have to then commit resources to stopping that guy or doing like a late invade to push him off of that kind of clear. Um, but that's like some tech to think about, right? That's why that that's a big part of why that champion's so powerful. But a champion like Kane, he's super good in solo queue because he could even start Raptors leashless if he wanted to, and then go to any camp he wants and hit level three so he can gank anywhere on the map. It's not predictable, right? Unless vision is immaculate. So keep that in mind. All right, go start up your lobbies. Wait, can I get like ten minutes to eat food? All right. I mean, you you can do it while life. we're searching for a game, no? If you're gonna take 10 minutes. Well, I gotta microwave it and stuff. And add everything to it. It takes like it. 15 minutes to get into this shit. Well, I also have to wash the dishes too. Okay, just do it, for fuck's sake. 